A shortage of intravenous supplies has many in the medical community concerned tonight. It has left them scrambling to get patients the drugs they need. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on the worries that are growing with the increase of flu cases. Stephanie. Gonna give you that Gatorade now. This intensive care nurse is using Gatorade to prevent dehydration, one way to conserve IV bags and intravenous solution that are now in short supply. The IV shortage was caused by Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico that temporarily shut down pharmaceutical manufacturing plants that produce most of the U.S. supplies. It's impacting how Exenia Trijo gets chemotherapy for brain cancer with nurses shuffling scarce supplies. These nurses work so hard. It worries me that they don't have everything they could possibly need at their disposal. We need to understand that there is a crisis brewing with this. Dr. Joseph Montella with Cooper University Healthcare says quick action and planning here have kept the crisis under control. Every single patient has gotten exactly the fluid and the care that they've needed. This is the pharmacy lab at Cooper where IV bags and solutions are prepared. They've instituted a conservation program that includes things like switching patients to oral meds when possible and daily evaluations to make sure the IV treatments are really necessary. None of our patients would notice any difference. But now with the flu season ramping up, there are growing concerns around the country about having enough IV treatments because many influenza patients aren't able to keep down oral medications. Yes, it is going to be a little bit more challenging, but we're ready to meet the challenge. Now, the FDA expects the IV shortages will start to ease over the next few weeks, but stresses that the situation in Puerto Rico remains fragile, and it's a major medical hub. The island produces $40 billion a year in pharmaceuticals for the United States. 